Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me, bless his holy name. God bless you, family and friends. Welcome. Today, it's Wednesday Wisdom, and we are continuing to allow the Holy Spirit to shine light on our hearts, that he may bring to light and expose the hidden and secret things of our hearts, that he may cleanse it by the water of his word. Amen. So I'm going to read out of 1 John chapter 4 verse 18 and it says there is no fear in love but perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment but he who fears has not been made perfect in love so there is no fear in love and and this love here is referring to um it's referring to brotherly love. It's not just um, having the love of God, but it's the love of God in demonstration of brotherly love. And so it says perfect love. So um, mature love, mat mature brotherly love cast out fear so this is the kind of love that is able to cast out fear it's not just i'm um, saying i have the love of god but it's having the love of god in demonstration through you this is the love that has the power to cast out fear and then it says that um that fear involves torment fear involves punishment and so it says um but he who he who fears has not been made perfect in love so the one who fears if i am if i fear then i am not i have not been made perfect in love i have not matured in brotherly love i have not come to the place um, of being full grown in brotherly love i have not done what is required of me to walk in brotherly love you know so many times we focus on um we focus on god and we say loving god you know and if someone does something to us we so quickly cast them aside and we cut them off but um and we we think that when we do that um we are walking in in god's love but it's not actually because verse listen to what verse 20 says if someone says i love god and hates his brother he is a liar for he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? So we can't say that we love God without demonstrating brotherly love um, towards each other. It's just not possible. He, he calls us a liar if this is the kind of love that we we are saying that we have if this is the love that we have then um he's saying you are a liar you don't love me because the way that you show me you love me is by demonstrating brotherly love and verse 12 says no one has seen god at any time if we love one another god abides in us and his love has been perfected in us wow if we love one another god abides in us and his love has been perfected in us so there's no way that his love is going to abide in us if we do not love one another this is the way that um, his love manifests in us is that we have to have love for each other, brotherly love. So we can't love God without loving each other. So we need to change that, change that kind of mentality 
exercise kindness, goodness, compassion towards our brothers and sisters. You know, let's exercise the character of Christ. Show mercy, show grace. You know, think of um think of the other person, you know, esteem esteem them more highly than yourself. This is how we work towards perfecting that love. That's how we work to get to that place of perfect love. Forgive. Be quick to forgive. Be be the first one to forgive. You know, work on not on not um taking offense so easily. I mean, do whatever you have to do. Take the wrong just to um be able to walk in love. So do whatever you have to do to mature in that love. Because it's required. He's requiring us to love others. Amen. So God bless you. And remember, continuing, continue loving Jesus by applying wisdom to your daily lives. I love you and God bless you. See you next time. Bye-bye.